Welcome to Tool Time Review, guys. This is your boy Rick. Today's episode, we got the Bosch 12 volt power drill versus the Dewalt 12 volt power drill. So let's go head to head. The Bosch model number PS31-2A comes with two lithium ion batteries. It also has a charger and a pretty cool carrying case. It does come with a LED, which I really like. And it also comes with a battery indicator, which is really cool to know when your battery is running low and when to have another one ready to go. It's got 265 pounds of torque and it's also got 20 plus clutch settings for a lot of different applications here. So it's got a forward and reverse button. The Bosch model is really small and compact, which makes it easy to work overhead and in really tight areas. It also comes with a 3 8 single sleeve chuck and a three year warranty. So for $99 guys with the Dewalt 12 volt, this is what you get. You get a pretty cool carrying case. You get a battery clip. You get a belt clip, I mean. You guys know I love those because there's nothing cool about getting hit in the head with a drill, no matter how much it weighs. So the Dewalt has two speeds and 1500 RPMs, LED light. It's got a 3 8 clutch. Also like that it comes with a three year warranty. So that's definitely a plus right there. It's also a lithium ion battery and it comes with two batteries. So if you lose one or if you run out of one, you got the other one ready to go. And it comes with a charger as well. The Bosch comes in at two pounds, two ounces. The DeWalt drill comes in at two pounds, seven ounces. All right, so you guys just saw the performance test with these two bad boys, the Dewalt go up against the Bosch. You guys got to see the battery test that we did on these bad boys, and you also saw them weigh in. So now we're gonna go over some facts and some numbers. So the Bosch came in at two pounds, two ounces, while the Dewalt came in at two pounds, seven ounces, about a third of a pound difference. And I'll tell you, I could actually feel that difference. This definitely feels a lot lighter, the Bosch than the Dewalt. And um, I, I like a little bit lighter in some cases, and uh, you could definitely tell the difference. So the Dewalt comes in at $99 while the Bosch is $129. So it's about a $30 difference. Now when it comes to the battery test, you saw that the Dewalt got destroyed. This Bosch kicked its butt and it came in at 40 minutes before the battery finally died and the Dewalt was right around 22 minutes. So almost twice as long. Uh, that's a huge difference. Uh, when it comes to batteries, I think this is pretty much the winner when it I mean, it's pretty obvious this thing kicked his butt. All right, so now let's talk about accessories. Dewalt comes with a belt clip. It's in, inside here in the bag. But I was kind of bummed out that the Boss for 130 bucks doesn't come with a belt clip. Um, I love belt clips. When I work on ladders a lot, so I definitely don't want to keep coming down or you know grab my tools or in this case grab my drill. Um, I guess where it does make up for that is that the Bosch comes with a battery indicator, which is pretty cool. Where the Dewalt does not. The Dewalt has a really good feeling in the hand. It just feels like it's not going anywhere. And the Bosch has, it, it doesn't sit it as well as the Dewalt. It feels like it, you know, it can come out. That's probably where they, you know, lose some of the weight in the battery area. Also, the sleeve where the chuck goes is plastic on the Dewalt. It feels really flimsy and weak, like it'll break. Where the casing on the sleeve of the Bosch is more of a, it's a metal sleeve. So definitely think this one's gonna outlast it. One thing that I noticed that I really liked about the Dewalt is the LED light. Um, the LED light is definitely a lot stronger than the LED light on the Bosch, which I was kind of surprised that the Bosch for more money didn't have a better LED light. They both come with two speeds and they're both a 3 8 chuck. Both come with two batteries and a charger. Chargers are about the same size. Both come with a bag. Um, I like the Bosch bag because on the inside it has a couple of little bands that you can, uh, can't see it now, but you can store everything in there and it won't move around. So that's, you know, that's about it for comparing these two bad boys. All right, guys. So that was it for the D wall versus the Bosch. Go ahead and subscribe. You know, if you guys like the videos you guys are seeing, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button a couple times and go ahead and leave some comments. We'll definitely go ahead and read them 
Give you guys some feedback. Give us some feedback. Let us know what you guys think. Would you guys will go with the D-Wall? Do you have a D-Wall? Would you guys will go with the Bosch? Do you have a Bosch? What are your experiences? So definitely let us know, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.